Well, well, well. Freightliner. They haven't even pulled my truck in the shop yet. Yep. Looks like I'll be here over the weekend. Let me go inside. Do a little chat. It's a beautiful view. What y'all think? Y'all can see what's on the ground. This is ice. Clear ice. I can see right through it. I've almost busted my ass about eight times. So, the lady gave me three comp chicks. If any of y'all don't know what those are, that's something I guess the trucking business uses. Comp data comp chicks. Got three of them. I only need one. But it's always good to have some in your truck. Little, little small mom and pop truck stop right here, Speedway. Got a petrol right on the other side of that bridge. Too far for me to walk. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna call back over here in an hour and they're gonna let me know. Checkout is at 12. So I'm gonna call back about 11.40 and find out if they're gonna have it fixed today or what I guess. They're just about to pull it in the shop right now. So we'll find out pretty soon. But right now I'm gonna head back to the hotel and just relax. I just had a little chat with the lady at the front office. Let her know what's going on. Cause you gotta check out of this hotel at 12. Hey, it ain't like, it ain't like, uh, they need me to hurry up and get out because they got so many other people ready to get in. This hotel is dead. Whew. Last night, it was a lot of uh, oversized truckers parked right over there in that lot. But other than that, man, nobody here. I don't even know why they put me on the second floor. All of these rooms are empty. I'm not sure the name of this city. Matter of fact, I can tell you right now. Let's see, Barkleyville. Barkleyville, Pennsylvania. It's currently 15 degrees. about to be it for this cigarette because I'm going back inside. Show y'all what this room look like real quick. It ain't much. Man. What the fuck? Oh, motherfucker. What the fuck? Our damn room key ain't working already. See what I'm talking about? It's not even 12 o'clock yet, and I'm already locked out. Let's go handle this. Damn. Same shit I dealt with in CDL school. Same shit. If, if apparently, if your room key gets too close to your cell phone, it stops working. Same shit I dealt with. I don't know, man. They need, to, they need to go ahead and update them systems. Because guess what? I keep my cell phone in my right pocket. My left pocket is where I had the key at. So it wasn't even close to a cell phone. Whew. Your boy is hot. Hot. I got on two pair of pants. Jeans. Two pair of jeans right now. It is, it is really, what's the, what's the word you, you young people say nowadays? 
it's it's really it's really like that. And how you young folks say it. Whew. Check your boy out real quick. I don't know how well y'all can see me. Y'all see them gray hairs? See all them gray hairs in me, man? I got them in my mustache now. Damn, I'm getting old. Gray hairs in the mustache. But yeah, man, here's my little room. It ain't much, but $54.50. That's all it was. It ain't much, but that's a little bit that's a little bigger than a sleeper bed. Alright. That's my third comp check. $109. Third comp check. I'm just taking a little quick walk. Tell y'all what's going on. That's about pretty much about all I can tell you till I find out something else. But anyway. Anyway. I'm stuck here over the weekend. It's Saturday. Freight line is closed. I just got off the phone with outside maintenance. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. But the reason I'm walking on this side of this building is because I want to try to look over there across this fence and see if I can still see my truck. Yeah, I see it. It's still sitting there. Yeah, I see it. It's sitting there. Y'all y'all probably can't see it. Yeah, but see. Outside maintenance, man, they don't know the same things I know because I'm right here at this at this facility. It's right across the street. But yeah, outside maintenance just told me, oh, they got the truck inside. They're gonna troubleshoot it Monday. They don't have the truck inside. It's still sitting in the yard. They told me they couldn't get it inside because they needed a they needed another tow truck to pull it in because it didn't have any power. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, I, I told y'all when I first got here that it didn't have power. And they, they acted like they were surprised. Like, yeah, our technician went out there to look at it. He couldn't even get it to crank up and pull it inside the shop. So they was like, they needed another tow truck to, to pull it in. I mean, which I felt like that was kind of crazy. Like, you know, if you're, you're, you're a, a, a truck garage, you know, you should have something on the yard that can uh, pull dead trucks around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if they really wanted that truck in there yesterday, they would have got it in there. Hell, yeah, they had plenty of other trucks out there. All they had to do, throw a couple chains on it, pull, pull it right on inside the shop. Hell, yeah, I got plenty of chains on, on just on the back of my damn truck. Y'all like the resolution? I switched over to the uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second. All my other videos was in 30 frames. I switched over to 60. So the footage should look a little a little more crisp and smoother for all you technical people out there. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Do, does the footage look crispy? I'm moving my, I'm, I got it on my head, so right now I'm, I'm moving my neck slowly. I'm not jerking. Yeah, you gotta, for all you filmmakers out there, you gotta, you gotta be precise with your movements. You can't jerk it. When I get some more money and start making that super trucker money, I'll get me a new uh, GoPro. I'll get that Hero 7 Black. The one that has image stabilization. Yeah, I'm just out here walking, man. Just walking. Stretching my legs out, get a little exercise. There's a little diner right there. I actually ate there a couple days ago. Well, the first day I got here, I ate there. Got an Arby's over there across the street because no no truck stop exit would not be complete without an Arby's close by. For all you new truckers, I guarantee you, 95% of the truck stops you go to are gonna have an Arby's. That's like the number one trucker restaurant. There's a, you don't see too many Burger Kings, but you you will see 95% Arby's. I guarantee it, especially if you go to Love's. 
I believe that's the only restaurant they might have a damn contract with. Arby's. And sometimes when you go to different truck stops that maybe have a McDonald's or something else, you still gonna see a Arby's. So yeah, man, as y'all can see, there's nothing around here. You got the Speedway, the Arby's, Burger King, Country Diner, and that's it. <laughs> Your boy's in the boondocks. So yeah, man, this is what I got going on for the weekend. But one thing I did find out since I have so much free time on my hands, let's walk through the snow. I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this footage. I did a little Google research while I was sitting in my room. Guess what? I'm only 29 miles away from um, the Melton, the Melton Terminal in uh, Missouri. I'm only 29 miles away. So, hey, hey, uh, it would be nice if Melton could, uh, I'm pretty sure they got some new graduates up there in, uh, in Missouri that, uh, may maybe, maybe just got their truck and they don't have a load to pick up yet. So, yeah, it would be nice if, uh, one of those new graduates down at the Missouri terminal kebab tail 29 miles away and come rescue your boy pick up my trailer take me back to the terminal and just issue me another truck but I'm just saying though hey I'm 29 miles away y'all can send y'all can send a driver y'all can send a driver up here to get me Put, hop, hop in that melting minivan. Come pick me up. Give me another truck. Let me bob tail back up here and go drop this load off. Cause I got home time on Friday. This Friday coming up is supposed to be my day of my home time, which is my birthday. So I don't want to be stuck here. And that would also save the company money on this hotel. Instead of, instead of paying a hotel bill, just go ahead and pay one of them drivers at, at, at the Missouri terminal to come get me. All right. I'm about to go turn in this calm data check and go sit in my hotel room and be miserable. I got a quick shout out real quick. Let me, let me find a message. Danny Haig, Danny Haig, shout out Danny Haig, Flatbed Mafia, came up with a new slogan last night, shout out Mr. Danny, Flatbed Gang, Flatbed Mafia, alright brothers, y'all stay safe out there, and I, I was just, stay warm in my hotel room, 10 folks.